Alright guys, I'm going to show you my flak pet build. No one really does it the way I do. Uh, I'm not saying mine's the best, but it's certainly a lot better than the ones I've seen. So, start with the gear. Uh, main thing I'm using is a plasma coil, which I use on all my characters right now because it's one of the best weapons. Uh, I'm using Gamma Burst. If you want to do 200% on action, kill, action skill active, you can do that. Um, I like the, the Gamma Burst, though. Uh, my other weapons are pretty trash. Um, my, the Hell Shock actually works really good. Um, uh, fire with the uh, extra radiation damage uh, actually does a pretty good number on, on flesh enemies. For Corrosive, I'll usually throw on a, a launcher like a back burner or a Plague Bear, which I'll use for uh, the, the boss fights. Um, I'm using a level 50 Brawler Ward that I've just had forever since the game first came launched. 300% melee damage. I'm also getting 4% healing when your shield is down. And my shield will always be down on my pet. Uh, so I'm always getting that 300% melee damage. And because I'm using the Skag, I'm always doing melee damage. Uh, and that extra health is just icing on the cake. Really, my pet is invincible. Nothing will kill my pet ever. Um, so this is a, a very good pet build. Uh, for the grenade, whatever you want, uh, just use an ASC that you like. So I'm usually going to use cryo or corrosive since I'm mainly using a plasma coil. I get a little extra bonus for my cryo, so I'm just sticking with a cryo ASE. So basically, when I run my pet, I'm either my pet's doing the damage, or if he's on cooldown, then uh, my ASC will be active. And by the time this wears out, that 10 seconds, I've got my pet back. Uh, so the damage kind of switches a little bit between my pet and, and I. Uh, using the Red Fang, this one's going to give me SMG, SMG damage, uh, submachine gun. Also some extra Malawan damage. So this one works pretty good. Uh, the, so the rolls aren't as good. The, the, uh, the skill points aren't as good as I would like. I'd like more uh, reflect damage, but is what it is. I don't dupe any weapons. I don't get any weapons. Everything I have, I farmed. So using a, a company man works good with the plasma coil, of course. I'm also getting extra radiation damage and cryo damage. I'm not sure if the melee damage actually helps my pet at all, but it's there. Um, these other weapons are pretty trashy. I was just testing them out. Uh, but the plasma coil is what I'm going to use mostly. Uh, for my skills, let's start... Well, for the red, I'm not using anything. I used to like uh, Leave No Trace for a little extra ammo. But uh, let, let's start with the purple because there's not much there. Uh, really, all I want is the shield, the extra shield for my pet so I can get that Brawler Ward active. Uh, here you can do whatever you want. Obviously, I want the pet damage. Uh, this skill here does okay damage. You will blow up barrels so if there's any reason you're gonna die it's gonna be because of this um, but really you're not gonna bleed out with this build so I, if you wanna take these two points and get some reload speed uh, you can do that uh, this is gonna help my uh, radiation or a crit so this is a good skill and of course this is gonna give me the brother ward now if you run any other shield like I said your shields always gonna be down so if you have any skills that your shield gives you while active you're just not going to get it you're going to have to run down the tree to get regeneration skills for your shield but because I'm running a melee shield this is as far as I need to go uh, blue tree this is giving me a lot of my skills and damage uh, you already know what I'm doing I'm really stacking the ferocity I'd like to get more heat bites because I really like to reflect damage for bossing that does the main amount of damage uh, on bosses and my pet will tank any boss in the game and not even come close to being harmed. Uh, have Who Rescued Who, one point's enough for for uh, healing. I'm kinda going overboard on the healing. Uh, I don't need to explain a lot of what's going on here. Uh, mutated defenses definitely take that. Uh, just for one boss in the Guardian takedown that does that Nova that's supposed to kill everything, uh, my pet will actually survive that Nova, which you've seen in a previous video. Uh, dominance I'm keeping, uh, it's not the best skill with, with Red Fang because any enemy I dominate is going to instantly be killed by my pet. My pet will target it, 
which I, it would be nice if they changed the AI so the pet wouldn't attack uh, the guy that's on my team temporarily, but unfortunately that happens. But if I wanted to take the Red Fang off, this would be my taunt, and you're going to want enemies not targeting you. Like I said, nothing in the red tree. The green tree, now, people say Flack is squishy. I disagree. He's actually probably the most tanky character in the game. Just people always choose damage over survivability. So you don't blame the game. Blame people choosing those skills. So I like to go over the health regeneration and the max health. This is a health build. Uh, a lot of people like to run um, Deathless or to get that URAD damage. Well, you're going to have damage, but guess what you're not going to have? You're not going to have health gate, which means when you're fighting raid bosses, if you get hit, you're going down. Uh, health gate works surprisingly well, especially with a lot of regen, like I'm doing. So I got the regen here. I'm, I'm sharing the health to my pet. Uh, eager to impress. I'm not sure if this is working right, because I'll actually get my cooldown back before my pets even off his skill but for some reason it, it resets the timer anyway so I don't know if that's bugged or not but I have a lot of points in there if I don't need so many you feel free to put it into something else that's going to give you some damage uh, lick the wounds is like the best skill ever so and it's giving me ex extra pet damage but you'll hardly ever need it uh, because everything's always targeting your pet hidden machine works all the time that's a very good skill uh, I don't need to say a whole lot about these skills, but you'll know Power Inside, again, is one of his best skills. And my health will always be full, uh, so there's no problem getting that extra 25%. Um, the pet I'm using is always going to be this uh, Great Horn Skag for the damage. If you want it, the fire rate, feel free to use Iridian Skag. They both work well. Uh, the only change I'm going to change between bossing and mobbing is just the the augments here. So all the only thing I'm going to change is go from endurance uh, back to empathetic rage because on a boss I'm not going to be getting those uh, kills on those ads so often. I'm going to be focusing on the boss, so it makes more sense. Uh, this empathetic rage, you really feel that damage when you put it on you you absolutely feel it feels like more than 20 percent so if you're going to be the main damage dealer i'll put that on if my pet's going to be uh, with his normal attacks then i'm going to do endurance so since i'm going to run through the um the shaft to demonstrate i'm going to run uh, the endurance here <clears throat> So I'm going to launch him. So it's really a race to who gets a kill first. Whether it's going to be the pet or me. And usually he's killing stuff first. I don't know why he didn't target me. So I don't know why he didn't target the pet. Usually. I can come up and just bonk someone with my uh, melee. It tends to work better than aiming down sights to get dominance. See, she's, she's, they're, they're, they're dead just about instantly. The puppy did a 5 mil there. Now, one thing to note about dominance is you are draining health. So if you have uh, an enemy with a shield or even a triple bar, you will be attacking the health bar when you're, when you're draining your health. And with flak, you're not doing a running gun. You are trying to stay still, actually, if you want to do damage. If you're getting hurt, you want to run, which you'd be doing naturally anyway. Oh, 
far as you can in there. Pat, why are you derping? This guy doesn't derp out too much, but you can see occasionally he'll get stuck on something. If he did die, I could use a clockwork res. That does work. Uh, or I can just use my uh, action skill. If I use gamma burst, he will actually uh, come back to life. And again, I don't know where he is, but I wanted to target this dude. This is actually one of the more tanky anointed. Now, because I'm not getting crits on everything, I'm not doing red tree. Um, DPS of flak isn't always as high, but it's a more fun playstyle, if you ask me. You can be a lot more reckless with it. If you double team something, it dies pretty dang fast. There's a round. I didn't demonstrate very well. I was dying uh, a little more than I normally do. Now I see my pet. He's dying. He's sitting he's inside down. a barrel. Like a dumbass. Someone got the better of you, man. That's pretty much the only thing that's going to kill him. To see the life back in you. But he's getting a lot of my life back. The shield's giving him life. So it works out pretty good. So that's what I like to use. Um, try it out for yourself. Uh, hopefully you'll like it.